This week's rule of the week is building shell with detail. It applies to a building volume. That volume could be a multi-patch in Pro or a shape in City Engine, and adds architectural detail, specifically windows, walls, and balconies. It's context sensitive, so if I split the roof, for instance, and turn it into a sloped roof, it knows it needs to put tiles on that. As I change the height of the roof, it fills in below it to add floors. If I change the shape, right, it just wraps the whole shape of the facade. The idea is that you can focus on simply editing and creating things with a mass and push full plus plus, and it will use a procedural rule to automatically fill in the detail for you. But what if you don't like the appearance of this building? Right, you can use the rule's parameters to change it. First, you can add in floors so that when you look in the windows, you see a floor. You can change the first floor height to 5 meters. All other floors will make them 3.5. You can see it changes the way it subdivides those floors. The floors are split horizontally into bays. These bays can be windows, balconies, or walls. You can change the order of windows, balconies, and walls, the order of the bays, on an individual floor, and then change the way they change from floor to floor. So they can be aligned vertically, or they can offset vertically, or they could be totally random, your choice. Now, each of these items that go into a bay can be customized, and the bay can be changed. So I can make the bays wider, 7 meters, and then I'm going to customize the windows to make windows take up 75% of the space inside that 7 meter bay. I'm going to change the sill height, the height to the base, to half a meter, and the height of the window to 1 meter. Uh, I can change the size of the panels, so I get fewer panels inside the window and change the texture and appearance. I can change the exterior texture as well, so I can make it a red brick building. I could change the roofs to green roofs if I wanted to. The balconies are also configurable as well, so I can make the balconies take up 90% of a bay. I can give them one meter depth and extensions. I can also change the shapes of doors and other features that are being automatically inserted inside this building. The idea being with Push Pull Plus Plus in City Engine, and soon Push Pull Plus Plus in ArcGIS Pro, you just create this simple form and you get this very, very complex building very easily.